Well, I thought this article was satire, but apparently it's not. It's from out.com. I mean, I'm used to LGBT news sites pushing a lot of hyperbole, but uh, this this has to take the cake on this. Um, this is definitely Trump derangement syndrome gone awry. Look, I think it's a really good thing that Trump is pushing for countries to decriminalize homosexuality. I think it's a worthwhile uh, goal that he wants. I don't think he's going to get anywhere with it, but I mean, I also think that he should be focused more on the United States. He always likes to say America first. And if it's America first and helping LGBT in America first, he would be actually doing things to help the LGBT in America. I mean, it'd be really nice if there was a president that would actually add LGBT to non-discrimination policies, federal policies, that would override some of the states that allow for discrimination against gay people. But uh, no, he's doing this instead. But, you know, I got to give him credit where credit is due. But uh, so this article goes into the things, oh, uh, Trump hasn't had a very good record in these areas and uh, he could be doing much better, right? But... uh, Here's where uh, here's the the main thing the article is trying to say. The truth is, this is part of an old colonialist handbook. In her essay, can the subaltern I don't know how to pronounce that speak, post-colonial theorist Gayatri Spivak coined the term white men saving brown women from brown men to describe the racist paternalistic process by which colonizing powers would decry the way men in power treated oppressed groups like women to justify attacking them. Okay, that's that's the, the gist of this article, but it, oh my goodness, it's racism? It's racist? No, this isn't racist, sorry. This article is just trash. <laughs> 